So day four, 4th of December of the advent calendar from Risky Rocks and um, we got a find number four. I will tell you, especially if you'd had a few drinks, that that wouldn't be very easy to find. Um, so let's guess, is it going to be something I've had? Is it so going to be something I haven't had? We've had two I've had, one I, sorry, two I haven't had, one I have had. Let's go for something I haven't had. All right. Oh, Jesus. They are not the easiest things to, to open up. Only complaint so far, guys. So next year, make it a little bit easier. Okay, so Dobson's Old Reliable Triple Distilled New England Highland Whiskey. There we go. Um, I have not had this one before. Why are you always lying? So this will be interesting. So triple distilled, so more Irish style. Um, oh yeah, while I spill half of it, you know, on the table, it's all good. Not like I don't enjoy my whiskey at all. Okay, that's weird. Wow. Okay, so, um, I think there is supposed to be a small amount of peat in this. I, I, I'm picking up and I'm talking at the smallest amount. But what I am picking up is, oh, okay. I sound like an idiot, but Go to a Japanese bar in, in Japan, and I'm talking, sorry, a Japanese yakitori bar. So chicken skewers, offal skewers, all this kind of stuff, pork belly. And the smell that comes from that, not the smoke smell, but the food smell. Go to a, or go, might be easier to put, go to a sushi place, grab the pickled ginger jar and open that up. And I'm getting pickled ginger from that. I don't think I've ever, ever had that before. And I think that is my craziest nosing note that I think I've ever put out there before. So um, that is interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Triple distilled generally does make it a little bit more gentle on the palate, what I normally find. Um, the hate, the biggest word that everyone hates, smooth whiskey. Um, it is, does make it a little bit smoother and not so you know, crazy on the mouth. So let's give it a try. All I've got is pickled ginger. I keep getting that flavor through. There is definitely a small, okay. There's definitely a small amount of peat in there. Well, I, I think there is, um, but it's not offensive at all. For someone like me, as, as yesterday's was, a, the Tannis one was um, uh, peated, you know, a little bit. This is, this is half of what the Tannis was. So again, really enjoyable, but I can't get over that pickled ginger. It's very light. It is very gentle. There is a little bit of sweetness in there, but again, pickled ginger for me. So the finish on it, it is very short. All the flavors are going. Again, it's very gentle on the mouth. There's a small amount of uh, like burn at the top of my palate, but um, it's actually not bad at all. So I'm gonna be very interested. So let's bring uh, the computer up and just... This is so. What's it called? Adult. Okay. All right. So, old barrel house, eighty-nine dollars for a seven hundred and fifty ml bottle. Uh, triple distilled, handcrafted Australian small batch whiskey, uh, forty-seven percent. No age statement. Uh, in the region of Kentucky, New South Wales. Cast type is French oak and ex Shiraz. Um, Dobson's Old Reliable Single Malt Whiskey is one of the lighter whiskies in the Dobson range. Made in, made in the Celtic Irish style. Note the E in the word whiskey. It's triple distilled and comes in at 47%. Lightly peated. There we go. Matured in French oak Shiraz. It's smooth, approachable, and made in very small batches. Old Reliable is released every six months or when head distiller Stephen Dobson's in consultation with the whiskey gods deems it ready to bottle. It's made using golden promise grains and barley from Barrard's Malt House, located in the, in the small New South Wales town um, of Inverse. So interesting. Um, let's try and find another one. There we go. So Nix, tasting notes. A lightly peated triple distilled malt matured in French oak cask that previously held Shiraz, as well as ex Madeira cask. Golden promise barley is employed in the mash. 
Pores are slightly pale, um, medium amber gold color and issues a frail sense of creamy soda. Didn't get that. Vanilla custard and hints of pineapple pudding. Lightly styled in the tradition of entry level Canadian rice or Irish blends. This is a graceful and silky in the, in the mouth with vanilla wafer, light fruit and chocolate and gentle cinnamon, pepper warmth. Okay, so I'll get a bit of pepper warmth in there. Uh, turns dry to finish with subdued vanilla custard notes in the aftermath. So I got hardly any of that. Uh, as I said, the pickled ginger is an interesting one for me. Um, and I think that's gonna come down as my favorite tasting note of all time at, well, at this stage anyway. All right, well, we are going to find bottle number six tomorrow. What's going on everybody? Um, this is the end of the video, but uh, an extra piece. Now, I'm just doing my editing on the Dobson video and I've just found that I have actually done a review on this one back in 3rd of May, 2020. It was when I did the 31 Australian whiskies in 31 days. So I'll put the link up of that one here. Um, and to say that I've got very different uh, ideas of flavor uh, and nosing and everything like that is um, a bit of an understatement. So I think it's worth going back and having a look at that. Now, the coolest thing is they, I now do remember him, they, the guy is a bit quirky. He's an ex-film producer guy, has done a lot of stuff in America and he's now in Australia making whiskey. Um, the website's down at the moment as I'm recording this, so it is a little bit quirky, the website normally. Um, I'd love to see something there. There's nothing on social media or anything like that. So yeah, so go check out my other video um, and you'll see that it is very, very different. All right, I'll catch you tomorrow.